You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. They're in there. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros. Fuck the Idols. Fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby! So, if you know how to shoot a gun, or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. We know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall. And I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? 
Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Alpha team, go. First day on the job. Let's do this. Newbie, catch up. Right. Let's kick some. Holy shit. Turrets, take cover. Ah. That was close. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Great fucking start. Shit. Anybody left? Me, I think. Figs. We have to rendezvous with Bravo Team or we're dead. Keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Yes, ma'am. Protect the new Wally! Oh. Gotta keep pushing forward. Oh. Getting a little hot out here. Taking a coffee break here. Marshal Scum! Oh, bite me! Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approved. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go! Through the breach. Go, go, go! Oh, demosity! <gasps> oh. Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah! You guys fuck with the wrong multinational private military corporation. Yeah. Don't cross me. <laughs> Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. We will find you. Waiting for some action. Bailey, hold up. Marshal, clear the field. Yes, ma'am. Reloading. Turn <gasps> down. Shit. Woo, take the turret. I got it. I'm good with these. Now that's not. You are damn lucky we don't have time to argue. Who uh. 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 them open here? Oh. Bailey, get your foot off the gas! 
Can you hear me? Anybody? Shit. Either they're all dead or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the new Ollie myself. How did Marshall get this far? Hey. Eliminate the intruder! We're gonna have fun. The Nawali wants them all dead. Finally, end of the tunnel. Gwen, hello, do you read me? Newbie, you're still alive? Yeah, I hear that a lot. The Nawalis hold up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box them in. In a minute, gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want them coming up behind us later. Fine. But next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes, ma'am. Earn that performance bonus. Four should take out that barricade. Ha! Couldn't do that at my last job. Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Newbie, stay in formation! All right, team. Let's take it. I 
you to flank left. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Another round. Ah! Ah! Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, you're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs. <laughs> Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! Wally, there's nowhere to hide. Oh. You're surrounded. Make it easy on yourself. Oh. I'm what the? I can't find him. Never mind. Get back here and regroup. We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now! Stand down! We don't got time for hero bullshit! Don't worry, I got this. Gwen, we've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. Oh, shit. Ugh. Come out with your hands up! <laughs> Not today. Oh, fuck! Ooh, oh. Oh! 
brains. Goddamn right I do. You're too predictable. Am I? You that. Get your hands in the air! I caught him! Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbon the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Fall in line? What the fuck? I saved the goddamn day. Nina, so excited about your new gig. Just FYI, we hit a shipment of antiquities last night while you martial types were busy. Score one for Los Panteros. You'd think Sergio would ask me to assess them. It's not like he has an art history degree. But no, I only pay you to drive, Nina. <sighs> Either way, at least he paid me. See you soon. Hey, it's Eli. Congrats on your first day as part of the workforce. <laughs> I wanted to let you know the bank turned me down for the loan, so I'm gonna lose the deal on that warehouse in Providencia. I guess Eli's Real Estate Investment Trust LLC remains a 16th space parking lot. I mean, for now though, right? Who knows? Anyway, can't wait to hear about your day. Hey, uh, it's Kev. Good news, I talked to my supplier at the club. She said if I DJ for her next Tuesday, she'll hook up my friend at the hardware store, who in exchange will fix the bathroom plumbing for us. Finally, we can stop waiting for the landlord to get off his ass. Also, I'm making brunch to celebrate your first day on the job. Don't be late.
Everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you going to help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> hey, the wave slave is back. How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how was the job? Eh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. I can tell you love it. Okay. I don't have to love it. I have to pay my student loans. Poof. I'm in. So I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, I played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, my CEO wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm mm. Mm. No, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, <laughs> Okay, who's ready for some crime? And you know how we should celebrate after this. Karaoke! Yes! So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? One guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. It's there. Let's get psyched. Only you oh can no. Not this crap again. Hey. Only you you can Don't yuck someone's yum. But life grows your way. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. You be your own boss. That's right. Be your own boss. One of these days, I'm going to get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of cat, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not going to be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded... Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much- We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. 
You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's the safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people go. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillian. No! Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the painting place. Sounds like they're out in force. Crap. Bad time for a train. Guys, I got cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam, send them into a ditch. Hit them when they're right up next to you. It really gets them flying. Gotta speed up. Remember to keep your speed up. fast enough to do any damage. <laughs> that took care of them. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. Nina, where you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What? what the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. You are about to get stopped. Problem. Los Pantero scrapped my switch car. Wait, what? Bigger problem. The 
police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off-road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. up the ass. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge. You didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities, if you know where to look. Glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I'll like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. Newbie, I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there.
Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would've got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. My name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. You gonna just let them shoot at us? When was very clear on not engaging. If we don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this one. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Okay, back on track. From now on, observe and report. Oh fuck, they have a turret. You gotta take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do, but you wanna take that thing out. I, God damn it! get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? I'm picking up the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. Get out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. Ha! That's the last one, you hear? Ugh. This is in the spirit of our orders. You're going down now! Heads up! You got more incoming! Ah, come on! I was almost done! Well, as long as I'm here. Ruby, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret and one thing led to another. Well, that was quick. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing again. Oh. A turret had given them a taste of their own medicine. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Get off that thing before it blows. on fire. Over this? 
Finally, let's follow orders and fall back. Kill that some bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. JR, let's get him. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? They can't see me, right? I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Fuck him up. Oh, shit, hurry. Oh. Do 
not test me. Hey Gwen, I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. Hey there, it's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Eh, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there. Retro, and you're listening to KFADR 101.1 Outrun. Running out the clock with a celebration of Synthwave. Hey, JR. What's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those Idols Anarchists made off of my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Hey, 
Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know. Any idea where they take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. That must be the camp. The Collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm, uh, looking to join. You. Idols. A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl, with a snake mask. She'll look you up. Hey, Cheryl, I'm thinking about joining the Idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By, like, stealing car parts and shit? Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The Idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? Like car parts? What even is real in a late-stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. Timmy-O, I heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted the shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Crazy! Where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to take back. Fuck off. Thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. Oh, we're dancing now. <laughs>
Have to tether that container and drag it back to JR. Holy shit, you actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. You'll never be one of us now! Hold up! Ah! Don't be a sucker and get over here! Was that you? Uh, you uh, 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 that's a fine shoot! That's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening of Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. 
And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. Hey, JR, if we're short on parts, why don't we just steal them? We could run a little chop shop here. Now that would save us a pretty penny. I need some parts for a hammerhead. How about you get me one of those? Gallo's about to start for the Hummingbird Codex unveiling. I want your security team in place. It's your night to shine. Team, tonight's a big night, so nobody fuck it up. You, uh, Johnson, is the codex ready for its entrance? Roger that. It's in position, and the display case hover tech is green. Good. I love this tech. Thank you for coming here this I'm gonna check in with the boss. We Antonio's speech should be wrapping up. Could join us for this very special celebration. Now, Bravo, team. How's it hanging? Uh, fine. I saw that. Just ago, kidding. Relax. I was a young intern at the National Museum. And of course, thanks to each and every one of you. Your donations tonight will benefit the international effort to end illegal traffic of stolen antiquities. Mr. Marshall, how was your evening, sir? Fine, fine. But I don't see our guest of honor. Where's my hummingbird codex? They'll be escorting it in any moment. That's what I like to hear. Have you met Myra Starr? She's on the Marshall Board of Directors. How do you do, ma'am? Quite well. So, you're Atticus's new hotshot. That's what it says on my ID badge. Oh, talented and confident. Reminds me of a younger me. Now, what say we celebrate? Go get yourself a drink. Yes, sir. What do you think you're doing? You don't drink on duty. I'm following orders. Atticus told me to celebrate. <laughs> of course he did. You want a word of advice? Watch your step around Atticus. He only sees results. No problem. That's what I give him. Uh-huh. Hey, what happened to not drinking on duty? I'm not on duty. Donate what you want, dear. We'll have the accountant write it off. Hey, Nina, I can't talk. I'm working security. That's why I'm calling. Los Panteros are about to try to take the Codex back. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm driving getaway. I'd have called sooner, but I wasn't alone. Fuck. When? Nina, get off your phone. We're going in. Shit. I've got it under control. You glad you had that drink now? Maybe. Oh, good dancing now. Right here, Mr. Marshall. Get this under control. It's an embarrassment to the company. 
Yes, sir. Secure the codex. I'll get addicts out of here. Hey, I'm in charge here. You get Atticus out of here, I'll secure the codex. Uh-huh. Exhibit. Someone get eyes on the Codex. You nuts! That place is full of Panteros! It's faster. I can handle them. Anyone got eyes on it? I've secured Atticus. I need to find the rest of the board. I'll get the codex to the safe room. How the fuck do I move it? Your martial ID triggers the sensor. It'll move on its own as long as you stay close. Got it. Access granted. Emergency transport initiated. Hover systems re-engaging.
Codex. Approaching the safe room. I need backup. This thing is getting buggy. Worst idea you've ever had. What the fuck? Blow it! Fuck! Shit, the codex is still up there. Fucking hover tech. Somebody report! I got separated from the Codex. Anyone have eyes on it? Negative! I got nothing! It's just chaos here! Damn it, the door's blocked. Need something to bust through that gate. Gunpowder? Replica. Damn it. Cool cannon. Room's a dead end. Dynamite! Ah, oh, shit, it's fake. Busted RPG? No fixing that. Rocket! Need something to fire it with. I have an idea. Shit, that worked. Sergio? Let's go, motherfucker! Yes! Gwen? Gwen! That was a very nice! You ain't playing. Even Sergio is a slave for money. Another one down. Sergio got away. I got most of the board locked down, but I can't find Myra Star. Copy. Keep an eye out for her. <laughs> Cover. I'll hold them off. I don't 
care how ancient this shit is, it won't hide you from me. Fucking peachy! Sergio's ordering Los Panteros to fall back. Did he get the codex? No, and he's pissed. I gotta drive. See you at home. Ah, this is not how you behave in a museum. You can come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Mistar is safe, and as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess. I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake. Sir, I wasn't wasting time. I was saving... Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. I just got word that the idols are planning on attacking the museum. Hey, it's Kev. I, uh, I made your breakfast if you want some. That's cool if you don't. Nina wasn't hungry either. Uh, uh. I'm sorry about last night. I didn't hear about the museum until it was too late to warn you. The Collective don't tell me shit. You should come to the Idols party with Eli and I later. Open bar? No? Mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Just, uh... Just know that Eli and I are worried about you guys. Later. Well, looks like we both got fucked over. Yeah. No work today? I'm leaving Sergio's group text on red. Fair. Los Panteros have been going downhill since he started leading. He used to be about family. Now it's all about him. Plus, he's zero for two this week, and that just makes him pissy. I want to eat my feelings.
Oh, come the fuck on. God damn it. Stupid refurbished appliances. Figures. Welcome back to the Cutting Room, the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages. Our first stop, Lung Piercer, a contemporary update on the classic Shiv, the Lung Piercer. Looks like we got a shopper in Santa Aliso that knows their stabbing implements. Let's bring out the next item. It's been a hell of a day here on the Cutting Room, but I've been saving the best for last. The Judas 3000. If Brutus had had one of these bad boys, he wouldn't have needed the Senate to help stab Caesar. How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <sighs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah, says he's planning on attacking the idols party. Man, I'd hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party is probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh, shit. We gotta go. They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer? Okay? I I I don't think so. Get in and drive fast. Where's the party? The resort. We gotta move. Try to get a hold of Eli. I'm gonna call Kev. Come on, come on, come on. You picking up? Nothing. You? Yo, this Fuck. is Kevin. I got voicemail. Silent, so here. Leave a message after I drop the beep. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, call me. I'm gonna call Sergio. Maybe I can put a stop to this. He'll never listen. It's worth a try. Well, look who decided to get back to me. Sergio, you gotta call this off. My friends are in there. I'm the friend you should be worried about. You are taking Los Panteros to war just because you think Marshall and the Idols embarrassed you. You're saying some shit you're gonna regret, Nina. Call it off or I quit. You ain't gonna quit. Try me. He's calling. Kev's calling. Put it on speaker. Kev, you all right? I'm fine, but Eli... They fucking shot me! You're doing great, Eli. Stay cool. Where are you guys? Eli's behind the bar. I'm keeping him covered. Nina and I are on our way. Keep Eli alive. Got it. Please don't hang up. Eli, listen to me. Nina and I are gonna kill every motherfucker standing between us and you. And that means we're gonna need both hands, okay? Okay. You're gonna be fine. I promise. Shit. Pantero's group chat is blowing up. They set up roadblocks on the bridges. We're gonna have to go through your crew, Nina. Those banqueros aren't my crew anymore. Nina and Kev are all that matters. You ready? Let's get our boys back home. That went well. Kill me? 
like he's turned on us. No, los pateros turned on me. Here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll, I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Los Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. Looks like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no! They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. Last time. You don't need this fucking cult anyway. What she said. Let's finish what you started and get Eli out of here. Yes, please. Let's go. Okay, we're in the ship now. We just tripped off the idols and those Panteros. Yeah, big time. So let's not stick around until they come back. Agreed, let's move. And this time I'm driving. Acceleration. Oh, what about the gas mileage? Fuck the gas mileage! Hold on, I'm out of bullets. Shit, the are coming after us. That's it! I've had enough for one day. Keep driving! I'm gonna teach these fuckers a lesson. Lucia, got coming up the back. Well, I got an RPG and some shit to work out. So let's see how that goes for him. Fucking quit that shit! I don't wanna die before I make my first million. You're not gonna die, dude. I got you, buddy. Eli's 
audiobook. It always calms him down. <gasps> oh, not this again. Hey, I can use some positivity right now. Turn it up. Worst idea you've ever had. Dog felt good. are relentless. You don't have insurance. I don't really care. You would if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound. Kev, where's the... Hall closet, Yo, Kev. top shelf. Okay, this is gonna suck, buddy. Oh, fuck! You're doing great. You're being very brave. Fuck you. Hey, keep talking to Kev like that, and you won't get a star on the star chart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what are we gonna do? Finish sewing you up? Yeah, and then what? The idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys, we're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. <laughs> I'm a walking murder party. And Nina? Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools. And neither should you. Uh. Is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Just a reminder, we're having our first company meeting in a bit. Don't be late. Company meeting. Nice euphemism. I'll be right there. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. You saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I wanna be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. 
We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves. They're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey, man. Just being real. For me? We needed to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so... We'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build a garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch fine. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church, near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned so it's cheap, and it's got a fucking graveyard so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Let's go. I'll drive. Where is this church? Up on 3rd. Oh, that place. Guys, look at these pictures. The architectural details look amazing. I see. Dana, this place is in ruins. I said it was a fixer-upper. There's a fine line between fixer-upper and money pit. Relax. The listing says it's being restored by a developer, John Bland. John Bland? The real estate king of Santa Elisa? Is he the guy on all those billboards? Why does a guy that into self-promotion stick with a name like Bland? Bland is no rock for the but he does restore the place. And we can still get it for cheap. Assuming the restorations preserve the original facade. I'm not gonna worry about preservation when I put in my state of the art kitchen, are you? We can discuss that later. equipment for a renovation. Looks more like a demolition crew. He's gonna restore this place in the condos. Not if we do something about it. Ganton, who wants to demo a demo crew? Track with them for security. Oh, fun. Hang tight. I'll take care of them. No surprise there. This is KSIPR 90.5, Santa Alesso Public Radio. That's the last of them. Damn. Sounds like the drivetrain overheated. Guess it wasn't designed with you in mind. Marshall's down, but they'll be back as long as Bland owns the deed to the property. Then let's get into cell. After this? Not likely. It'll shake him down and make him hand it over. The idols used to do stuff like that all the time. Good call. Kev, you're with me. Where's Bland even at? Uh, let's call the number on those billboards and find out. Bland here. One sec. Mr. Mayor. It's been an honor talking to you. Sounds like he's at City Hall. All right, who's this? Mr. Bland, I'm calling to take that old mission church off your hands. Huh? Wait, are you the asshole who just wrecked my demolition site? Listen, fuck nut, you set foot on one of my properties again, I'll make sure you can't buy so much as a tool shed in this town. Well, that was uncalled for. 
Eh, let's go take his ass for a little ride. Just taking it around the block. Same dickish face as the billboard. You got insurance, right? Hi there, me again. You gonna make this easy and give me the deed to the church? You? Go fuck yourself. Bad answer, John. I hope you don't get car sick. Let's show this shitbag little Santo Eliso drift. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Speed up. Don't want him jumping out. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you, crazy? Yeah, John, we are. Now give us the D. No way! Okay, guess we're gonna have to play hardball. I told you to play hardball in traffic. Wrong side of the road. This is how you do business. That's right, man. Just give us the deed. No! Guess the ride's not over yet. Final offer, John. You're not leaving here unless we get what we want. Think you can handle a little airtime? Holy fuck! Fine! Take the deed! Take my whole damn briefcase! Just leave me alone! Pleasure doing business with you. This car is also ours now, too, so get the fuck out. 
That worked great. We got the deed and a briefcase. Yeah, plus we blew up some shit, did some sick trips, and uh, stole the church. All in a day's work. Ready to head home? Home? I like the sound of that. Ooh, I'm gonna post about it. Yada yada da, yada da da da. Hashtag take the church, hashtag new digs in this, hashtag list. And post it. Oh, look, I already got a like. Seriously? How many followers do you have there? DJ Kev has his fans. That was amusing. Marshal backed up. You get the deed? Yep, we got the dude's whole briefcase. Let's get inside. You got the keys? Keys? No. Just the briefcase. No problem. I'm sure I can get in through a window or something and open it up. Why don't we just break down a door? Uh, not my door. Whoa. Calm down, Dad. Do you know how much a door costs? We own this place. We have to pay for that shit. Nina was right. This place is awesome. Hey, check it out. Cool graveyard. Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Oh, shit. You better hear this. Hi, Kevy. We saw your post. Congrats on the new digs. We adore your takedown of that gentrifying dick. Who is that? The Collective. The idols want to throw you a housewarming party. Fuck. Their parties get violent. No thanks. I wasn't asking. Duh. <laughs> See you soon, Kevin. Uh. I'll get the door. Hang tight. We've got company coming. Have you seen what's in this briefcase? Not now, Eli. Get inside. And maybe revisit your stance on guns. Perfect. Some backup in the graveyard. I'm coming, Kev. Eli.
swarming. Guess all that's left to do is check out the new digs. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You got damn right we are. Well, at least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints. This place has so much potential. Can't wait to decorate it. I got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. We'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works? Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex, Teddy. The woman with the mohawk? No! So here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock with the church. Just take a picture of it. Let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy, she was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ah, uh, Melissa. She has a good heart. Badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Eli, what's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh, uh, that sounds pretty corporate structury. There'll be donuts. On my way. Okay, 
So we got the name, we got the home base, we got the logo. So that means next step is to find people that can shoot guns? No. Uh, so that means next step is to make connections with the people that can shoot guns. Oh, come on, man. We want this thing to be more than a street gang. We want to be an organization, an institution. And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay, everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit, my contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints. Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin. <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those bad terrorists are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Pantero's fucking with their business. You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio sent this jacked up mound of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. You take care of his toughs at the park, maybe he'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. is off limits. Show your face there again. You're dead. The old man sent you? Oh! Was that you? with us. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry, I've got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. I'm cleaning up the Panteros problem for JR. Then I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. Ha! Bet all he has to do is buy them coffee to get them to sign on while I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on. You know you love it. I really do.
ain't your territory, dumbass. It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you answer to the Saints. Pissing me off. Not bad. You're about to get stumped! Jim Rob's garage is under the Saints' protection. Jim Rob's. Two for two, JR. Son of a gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Fuck, oh, better hurry. One last time. Stay away from JR. You think this is a game, motherfucker? No uh. surprise there. And hide forever. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of him to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR in. What is this? It's not board game night. No, this 
is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So, how do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church... And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. All right, so here's the plan. We open a monster taqueria and call it Chalupa Cabra. But we don't just sell food. We take over the entire drug distribution network in Santo Ileso. Here, it's all about the food trucks. My friend Chewy knows the business inside and out. And he makes a killer michelada. He'll show you how it works. All the traffic in town moves through four trucks. Weenie, Twisty, Sammy, and the King. Nothing a few rockets and a Molotov can't fix. True. Or we could steal each truck and all its product and put it to work for us. Even better. Where do these guys roll? I've got Jimmy following the King right now. I'll put you in touch. I've been thinking. Now that the Saints are a real organization, I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, which means? I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yeah, sure. Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. Hey, wow, Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. 
I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Damn, yeah, I get it. Next, my research said Keep your eyes open when you shoot? Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at, and then just aim for it, like this. Damn! Yeah, I get it. Oh! And my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What the fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. Yeah, I did see a certain squeeze quality. Nice. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... We're probably near one of their black ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall land will be shot! Grab a gun. Wrong hey, you're now! Armed civilians! Weapons free! Hey, hey, I got one! Good job, man. See what I mean about the dot thing? bit much for a beginner. Get in the car! I'm not your enemy! You try. I'll do the covering fire from the uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not... Oh, boy. How do you aim like this? Ooh. Don't let them escape! <laughs> I'm gonna puke! Let's go toe to toe! won't get away with our training secrets! That ain't stopping me! Ah! Yeah, you better run! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Yeah, you're fair game now! I'm good. Okay, that was maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, nah, you did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idol's party, I can slow him down. But I think I'll leave the car room shit to you. Oh. 